it's Scott's Computer Repair. Welcome to another of my tutorial videos. This is going to be a tutorial video for your smartphone, Android smartphone. This will be for basically, um, basically from switching your phone from a DHCP to a static IP address. And for the people who don't understand what this means, is basically what it is. An IP address is it signs your every device you're using at the house, like a tablet, your computer, your laptop that gets on the network and communicates to so they can get on the internet, share files between computers, stuff like this. Okay, and you, um, I don't know if most of you I have trouble sometimes, you have an IP conflict or something like that, or you're trying to set up an application on your computer that will communicate with your cell phone for the like, a, like IP webcam, so that, because you have to always constantly change the IP address to adjust because it just changed the IP on your phone. And it gets frustrating and it gets ridiculous sometimes. Uh, this is for, so that can happen. So basically this is going to be only for most Android phones like this one, not like an iPhone. It, most of it's going to be about the same with the Android phone the, of your type. Um, it won't uh, be, be close to the same or particular. This is, I'm using a HTC Desire 510. This is what this model is. Um, it'd be about almost close to about the same as uh, on anything. All right. Uh, basically what happens when you leave, it's like when you leave your house and you're on your, on your router and your Wi-Fi, okay? Um, but the problem is you do not stay connected to that because you go too far away from it. Um, when we come home, it changes the IP address, and you wonder why. What the heck? But, but it, it will sign your phone to an available IP, the nearest, closest, or available, or maybe the same. Sometimes that all depends. But this will will prevent that from happening ever again. Okay. All right. Let's get basically started here. Um, you can see I got my. Uh, Cell phone here on the screen on the right, uh, basically on the right of me here. Um, we want to go to your basically your settings of your cell phone, and you want to make sure you're connected to your router at your Wi-Fi hotspot at the house. All right, I'm gonna go to settings, tap Wi-Fi settings, and you can see I am connected right now on my router, Scott's Computer Repair. And you can see that on the top, and I'll tap it here. Oops, not that one. I'll tap it here. You can see right now this this is this is the random IP address that it signed my phone to. But again, uh, it might be not the same the next time you connect to it again. So because you can see it's 192.168.1.113. It might be different for your on your depends on your router. The IP might say 10.0.0.1, whatever numbers at the end. Be one through, be nine zero seven something like that, whatever. Um, but it'll, every time you reconnect to your router, it might assign to the same IP address that it was on the last time, or it might change it out to the next available IP. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, so, uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. This point forward. Okay. Basically, what you want to do is we want to change it from a DHCP to a static IP. So that way you have a permanent IP address assigned to your phone. Okay. All right. Let's. Um, basically, as I said, this might be different for most Android phones. Okay. It might be the same. It might not be. It varies. All right. You can go ahead and tap and uh, twice. Oh, not twice. Tap and hold and go to modify network. Okay. All right. You can see all your network settings right here and everything else. Okay. Uh, basically, before you do this, you might want to figure out where your IP range is on your router. Because uh, you have a limited range, usually within 50 IP addresses on your router. That's default settings. Um, but again, you don't want to go very high. But I recommend try to go the high, like if I want to, just basically I want to change the last two numbers of my IP address. Um, all you do is erase the one, three, and change it to whatever number I like to have. But okay, let's get to the part. Um, so basically, you want to go down to whatever on the bottom where it says show advanced settings. And you can see proxy or IP settings. You can see this. And the IP settings is what we want here, all right? And you can see it's set to DHCP to automatically detect the IP address. It's available on your router. 
and you want to go ahead and tap that then you want to tap static IP okay and then you want to scroll down further okay you can see all your IP information your router information over right here you can default gateway your DNS all your good stuff basically you want to just change one thing on here is the IP address all right, as I said, it might be different. It might be 10.0.0.113 or 107.05. It, it's going to be basically the same. Uh, all you have to do is change those last two numbers of the IP address uh, and, and basically it'll be still within your range. All right, all I'm going to do is basically I'm going to tap the IP address section. I'm going to erase just the last two numbers, okay? Just like that. Um, as I said, you don't have to change anything else before that, because that be, then you might have, be held a lot more problems than you want to deal with. Okay. All right. Um, basically, we want to. I'm going to basically change this, those last two numbers, to nine nine. That way, it'd be a higher range of IP address, and it will be still within my range of IPs. So okay. All right. Okay. All right, basically if you change those last two numbers to whatever you want, um, just go ahead and tap save. And then there you go, pretty much it's. And there you go, you can, now you can check and see your IP address on that connection. You can see now it's 192.168.1.199. Now that IP is assigned to your phone and it will stay assigned to that IP address until you change it otherwise or push forget. Okay. Now that way now you have to keep on changing your settings on your phone, on your, on your uh, settings on your computer to communicate with your phone with the IP webcam or any other software that is IP dependent. Okay. That way, that will stay that way all the time until otherwise you change it. All right. Um, basically, that's how you set up a static IP on a Android smartphone. Um, if you got any questions, as I said, it'd be pretty different than what any a lot of Android phones would be. It might be the way. Sometimes I came across many different. It's different, but about practically the same. Um, and once you figure that out, you can get that. Once you switch that DHCP to static IP. You be all set at that point. All right. Okay. Uh, that's basically. If you find this video very helpful, and if you uh, got any questions, just leave your comments below and like and subscribe to me if you can, please. I appreciate it. That help and support me in my videos and continue uh, making more videos. All right. I th I appreciate you guys watching. I thank you, and you all have a good day. That's all, folks.